America's election headquarters in depth tonight. Bernie Sanders' new political organization is barely a day old, and there is already major trouble on the horizon. The selection of a controversial figure to run the group has led to a mass exodus of staff. Correspondent Doug McKelway has the story. Bernie Sanders promised when he conceded defeat and endorsed Hillary Clinton for president that his dream would live on in a new organization to fund progressive candidates and causes. Last night, he kept his promise. Tonight, I want to introduce you to a new independent nonprofit organization called Our Revolution, which is inspired by the historic Bernie 2016 presidential campaign. Having won 22 state primaries, 13 million votes, and the adoration of young crowds, Sanders' rollout of Our Revolution was anticlimactic. The organization was hit with a body blow when eight staffers resigned en masse before last night's rollout. Sanders set up Our Revolution as a tax-exempt 501c4, which allows it to raise big donations from anonymous sources, so-called dark money, something that staffers may have felt run against Sanders' small donation ethos, and which may be illegal. The fewer I wanted to get involved in uh, mostly issue advocacy but some candidate election work, we could set up a C4. But Senator Sanders is different. He's a federal office holder. We have laws that are intended to prevent corruption of federal office holders. Sanders may also have been rattled by the appointment of Jeff Weaver, the former Sanders campaign manager, to head the new organization. The New York Times reported that our revolution employees accused Weaver of, quote, wasting money on television advertising and that he mismanaged campaign funds and failed to effectively target voters. Weaver, who once described Sanders as a champion of truth, justice, and the American way, owns a comic book store in Falls Church, Virginia. He did not respond to our request for an interview. Sanders' reputation has taken some other dings. Our GOP is asking for an investigation of his allegedly exceeding Vermont's $1,500 contribution limit for state Senate races. Senator Sanders, who preaches against big money in politics has used his five million strong list in order to totally skew a local senate race. Uh, he ended up uh, inserting a record set setting amount of money into this local race. The senator and his wife also just made a cash purchase of a six hundred thousand dollar vacation house, his third. Neither Sanders nor Our Revolution responded to our request for a comment. Our Revolution has already 61 candidates lined up on its website for financial support. They include candidates for city councils, mayoralties, state representatives, 12 candidates for the U.S. House, and one for the U.S. Senate, that being Russ Feingold of Wisconsin. Brett? Doug, thank you. Stocks were off today. The Dow dropped 33. The S&P 500 lost 3. The Nasdaq was down 5.5. Officials in Brazil's Justice Department want a word with American swimmer Ryan Lochte. A police official tells Fox News Lochte will be summoned to give testimony back in Brazil. Lochte has apologized for what he termed an over-exaggeration of an incident at a Rio gas station. He initially said he and three others were robbed at gunpoint. Surveillance video indicated the four swimmers had a confrontation with armed security guards. The ground is still shaking in central Italy and that is making